What's up guys? It's Ballmung here. I haven't released a video in a while. It's because uh, I've been really busy between school and work. I haven't had much time to play anything. Uh, but now I've been getting into uh, Terra instead of WoW. So I'm going to be releasing some Terra videos for you guys. Uh, right now I'm just going to do a few little basic, uh, basic videos showing you some areas and just showing me questing on my warrior. Uh, <clears throat> this is a login screen. I have a few. This is my warrior right here, Balmung. Be my main character. Uh, I got a few names reserved. That's spelled wrong. Barney Stinson. Uh, if you know who Barney Stinson is, you are my favorite person. But uh, let's just go ahead and go in. <clears throat> if you don't know what Terra is, it's uh, it's a, a, a big different MMO that just came out on May 1st, and it's uh, pretty epic. You'll you'll see in here. The graphics are insane, the combat system is so much fun, and it's just a great game. Alright, <clears throat> I'm level 35 right now. Uh, I'm in, where, where am I, Valarum right now. Uh, it's a desert area-ish. It's uh, I just came here at level 35. Uh, but alright, let's get into some basic things with Terra. As you can see, the UI is fairly similar, similar to WoW. You got the quests over here, uh, your map, <clears throat> your uh, customization is not that great in here. You can add some action bars to the right. You can uh, expand or expand that. Uh, when you start out, <clears throat> it starts like this. People, if you don't know, if you do play this and you didn't know you could do this, you can uh, expand your tray down here and then add an extra shortcut tray. This automatically won't let me move it because I have it locked this starts <coughs> down here like turn sideways down here if you want to change that all you have to do is drag it over to the side and it should reposition itself but it doesn't want to right now there it goes and then you can drag it however you would like and then you can lock it up again um the movement in this game is very different. You move with WASD, and uh, whenever you move your mouse from side to side, your whole camera moves. Because that, that little crosshairs right there is how you fight. Um, that's going to be when I want to aim an ability or an auto attack, I aim it through there, and whenever I turn my camera, it changes that so it's just basically how you aim your attacks it's not the basic old tab targeting like wow which makes this game like incredible <clears throat> so that's one great aspect of this but all right uh i have a few quests here i'm going to start showing you some of the combat style of warrior and a little more of this area all right so as you can see i'm just running through here and uh while you're questing uh if you see anybody with exclamation points uh, next to their names obviously means it's for the quest um, right there I summoned a little shadow uh, apparition guy uh, as a warrior we get a pet I don't use them very much except for when the guys I'm fighting have minions like this um, the minions tend to do a ton of damage to me for whatever reason and uh, they're really hard to dodge out of the way because there's just so many attacks going at you at once <coughs> so I normally use them for that um, you see I just picked up a rejuvenation moat. Uh, those things are really rare, um, but they're awesome. Uh, the guys that you kill always have a chance to drop that rejuvenation moat. It just uh, heals you a little bit. Um, so my warrior, I love playing my warrior. Um, I like I didn't hate it, but I, I did not enjoy it even close to as much until I hit level 28. Um, we just didn't have very many moves. Our MP is like goes down very fast like it's not even funny um we get mp de uh, deprived all the time but at 28 we get uh some chain abilities that work really well together uh you'll see me use them probably on my next fight probably on this fight right here uh it's pounce so you pounce on them yeah and then you do a torrent of blows into a uh blade draw and blade draw is our uh hardest hitting move. I think I hit a, a 6.8k crit with it, which isn't a very big crit in this game, but for a warrior, that's, that's pretty huge. Um, that that little three hit combo right there tends to kill basically any mob 
Like if I if I go against like one or two guys and I use that, they're practically dead. And then I can just go use my combo attack and and uh, finish them off. But uh, as you can see, the combat in this game is a lot more intense than WoW. Um, you have to dodge. You have to physically dodge their attacks like that. Um, it's bound to right click for a for a warrior. You roll out. Of, you roll out of the way. Um, it's called evasive roll. It's I don't know. It's it's a blast. Uh, that's one of the main reasons why I like Warrior. Uh, if you choose a Lancer or a Berserker, uh, they don't roll out of the way, they just sit there and block. Uh, but they have to physically block uh, their attacks, otherwise they'll get hurt too. So uh, this is the little three. Boom. See how they're at uh, like 20% health after that? It's pretty, pretty legit. I love that. Another rejuvenation mode. I'm awesome. So yeah, um, this game is it's absolutely beautiful. I love pretty much everything about it. It's it's just it's an awesome game. Uh, I can't wait to get into uh, some of the higher PvP or just PKing. I miss world PvP like crazy, and this game brings that back like intensely. Like the the world PvP in this game is awesome. I'll get a little bit into that here in a, in a little while. Um, right now. Just trying to finish up this quest. Show you guys a little bit of the gameplay. Uh, I keep dodging around because of us trying to get Vortex Slash off. Because that's another pretty big hitting move. And uh, it does about like 5k damage to him. I think I got once. But uh, yeah. So the bags, exact same as WoW. Uh, you can expand it for like 16 gold. I think it is right now to expand another slot. Um, this is a uh, shadow apparition again. He's like he's really helpful, but in order to use him, you have to sac sacrifice HP and MP. And uh, against regular guys, it's not really worth it. But against these minions, uh, he keeps them off of me for the majority of the time, and it helps me a lot. When I go in just me against those guys, I I can't seem to dodge as much as I want to, and they just they own me like crazy, like. I'll, I'll be down to 20% health before I even know it. It's nuts. I hate it. Uh, yeah. Oh, the mounts. You see me mount up right there. It's uh, You instantly mount when you're out of combat in this game. There's no cast time. You just If you're out of combat, you just mount up. It's sick. Uh, but it, it does give you a little bit of a problem in world PvP. It's easier to get away. But, I mean, it's still pretty awesome for questing. <laughs> so, basically, I don't want to give you guys footage of just me killing the same mobs over and over, but uh, I ended up dying, and when you die, you see that stamina right there? Uh, you have to sit by a fire to get it back to 100%. You can actually go up to 120%, and uh, it, it affects your health and your and your MP total, and you'll also get weakened, uh, and you, your, your attacks don't do close to as much. Now, there is a looking for group uh, system in this game, where you can go and see what people are looking for, like, and uh, you can apply to their group or just ask them. But not many people, <coughs> not many people even use it. Uh, you find most people for your groups just through area chat. So, uh, yeah, that's Rain of Blows. Um, it's the first ability we get. It's a big combo ability. It's uh, one of our most used abilities besides Pounce and Blade Draw that we use at 28. But uh, this is all the skills. Skill books the exact same as WoW, and uh, we have a we have glyphs in this game, which are pretty much like the talent trees in WoW, I guess you can say. Um, you get a certain number of glyph points, like 24 glyph points, let's say, and uh, each glyph that you buy is worth either three, four, two and you can customize and use whichever glyphs you want some like that will increase the damage of rain of blows um, that one increases the damage of vortex slash they all do different things and uh... what it shows on the left is the ability so you take the you find the ability that you want and then each ability will have glyphs for it and uh... they they're either increased damage uh... decreases the cost of mp things like that so it's really helpful. Uh, glyphs are incredibly helpful. 
I can still use like two more glyphs. I just haven't been back to the city to buy one yet. And uh, the the real cool thing about this game is guilds. Now, this is a guilds on the uh, server list, and you can check. This is uh, my guild, Apathy. Now, these are ranked from how many members that they have in the guild right now. And uh, the the cool thing is guild versus guild battles. Now. This shows a list of the recent guild versus guild battles. What happens is when you declare a guild versus guild battle, you just if you ever see anybody in the other guild uh, running around questing, then you can kill them. And uh, it's open world PvP. There's no factions factions in this game. If you see somebody that you want to kill, you can kill them. Now you see those guys by the campfire that are in purple. That means that they are in a guild versus guild battle right now. And uh, so I can't attack them unless I declare myself an outlaw and that's just a completely different story when you're an outlaw you can kill anybody you want but I'll get more into that in another video uh, this video is getting long so I'm gonna call it here and I'll have plenty more coming thanks for watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe